So in this video, Mason Crane gives you some tips on how to bowl leg spin. So to start with, like just your, your basic leg spinner. Um, you know, if you've ever heard Shane Warne talk about it, he talked about two two up, two down. So he means like two fingers up, two fingers down, like you can see there. Um, and you, you're trying to line up the seam. Um, so this finger here is going to do most of the spinning for you. So this one's sort of on the seam, and that's how you're going to get it to come out um, the seam nice and straight. Obviously, just from there, the way a cricket ball is, you can bowl... Um, leg spinners but you can change the seam to however you want so you can change the seam to sort of like, like that and it'll be a cross seamer um, you can you can have it like, like here and it'll be cross seam as well <clears throat> and that gives you a different variation that obviously the batsman won't see the seam coming at them like that um, they'll be it was scrambled slightly harder to pick um, just move, moving on from that to, to bowl variations I'm what I try and do I try and keep my grip um as similar as I can for as many balls as possible so that um, that won't affect your action. So if you, for example, if you have the ball, you know, maybe sitting, sitting differently, some guys hold it slightly differently or, or however for different balls, that's actually going to affect um, how the ball looks. So when, you're, when your arm's coming over, it's going to look different before it's got there. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to keep it similar. So when I'm bowling a googly, I'm still trying to keep it, you know, I'd probably bowl it cross seam, so I'd, I'd have it here somewhere like that. Um, and then obviously the ball's going to come out the back instead. Um, but from a grip perspective, um, generally I'm trying to keep everything pretty similar. And then I'm changing uh, the position of my wrist. So um, if I want more overspin, see my wrist will be next to the next to the ball like that. If I want more side spin, my wrist will be sort of more behind the ball like that. Um, and then your traditional ball will be sort of somewhere there. So um, I'm trying to change this really more than my grip as you can see there like if the the ball sits differently for different balls you, that's a difference already you can pick up so i'm trying to keep things pretty similar and that should help um your action be more repeatable as well but when i coach um young kids they all, all want to bowl a googly of course they do but what i would say the, so a leg spinner leg spinner, it's gonna your wrist gonna be moving like this while leg spin and that's <clears throat> once you've got that movement sort of down and you can do that then the, the googly really it just is, is an extension of that so you can see how instead of coming around the ball like that there you can see i was talking about this part of your wrist to bowl a googly talking about trying to move that part round, and then the googly will come out the back so for me, again, grip wise, keeping the ball the same, maybe scramble the seam, whatever you want to do. When you're learning to bowl googly, it's actually really good to bowl with the seam straight. So you can see as the ball's going down, you can see where it's a leg spin. And then when you bowl a googly, you'll actually be able to see the ball, uh, the seam, you'll be able to see where you're making it point. But I tell you what, this little joint on your wrist here, if you can try and get that to turn around, that's how the, that's how googly is going to come out the back. Um, and that's the easiest way I can explain it really um, is that you sort of your wrist would be open to bowl the a leg spinner and then you just try and close that bit off and it's the same movement obviously your wrist has, has turned and that's how Google will come out of the back of your hand so well top spin top spin um, pretty simple really in terms of so when you bowl a leg spin you can bowl a leg spin from any angle so you can bowl from, from here you can change it more more front on like that and a topspin really is just halfway to a googly so you just get exactly halfway um and you just come straight over the ball like like that and you just make sure that you are uh, sort of pulling down on the ball um and you you know again to train it maybe with the seam you want the seam to be coming down pretty straight um so as you said like googly is more spinning turning wrist from there 
and leg spinners over here, you would have a, a top spinner just be bang in the middle. So, um, you know, it's, it's quite difficult to bowl because um, obviously you get more dip. So then you have to sort of change where your, uh, change your trajectory is. And you have to work out how much you're going to make it dip to work that out. But um, yeah, those three are actually pretty similar uh, in terms of wrist movement. Um, and then, you know, action, it should be pretty similar as well. So I don't really bowl too much for flipper, but it's more so where the others have been sort of here, the, the flipper you're more from this position, you're going to actually fire it out from underneath. It's pretty difficult to do. Um, I've been trying it for quite a while now. I haven't quite got it right. Um, from here and you're sort of almost like a like a clicking movement um, and the ball sort of come out far from underneath. Um, I guess an, another way to do that would be like um, a slider out the front. So, you know, whereas you're normally coming over the ball like this, a slider out the front, um, where you're trying to get the ball to go down pretty much sideways like that. Um, and on most wickets, um, if it's not particularly... Um, conducive I guess to spin that will that should that should skid on straight well I think it's quite important so um, for leg spin it's obviously um, it's going to be a, a twist so you're going to be twisting round so for that you have to in my you know, I think you have to get pretty side on if your uh, if your front arm is um, if your front shoulder is open it's going to be difficult to get um, a lot of revs on the ball just because there's no sort of twisting to be had. Um, the twist, how you spin, but you know, if your direction and stuff, it's about um, it's about staying side on and going over towards the target, whilst also obviously giving yourself a chance to to come round on it. Um, you know, so for me, if um, it's like I'm trying to point with my my front shoulder is kind of like my um, how how I'm going to aim. So I'm aiming my front shoulder where I'm driving to so run up um, i think run-ups are pretty individual um i think whatever's more comfortable for you but um you know it's understanding if you can get enough uh, momentum from from your run-up and you can keep your run-up um you can keep your run-up the same you know you can have a constant tempo you're running at so um obviously for me i have a slightly longer maybe quicker run-up than most spinners because um, for me, that's how I'm going to generate um, enough sort of pace um, and momentum to be able to um, sort of explode and get over my front leg. Um, other guys, you know, do it from from slower run-ups or walking or whatever. But as long as you can uh, generate enough momentum at the crease and you give yourself enough time um, to bowl the ball, the issue of running in, um, like I do, is sometimes you don't um, spend enough time at the crease. You sort of run through it a bit. Um, which again stops you getting sort of spin on the ball. Um, but you know, if you can control both those things, if you can control getting enough um, enough momentum, but also giving yourself enough time to actually bowl it while you're at the crease, um, you know, it runs pretty individual. I think. I think your your flight and pace will change a lot depending on the conditions, who you're bowling at, things like that. Some some batsmen, obviously, if you flight the ball up to them. Um, they're gonna they're gonna come after you, and, and maybe that's what they're more comfortable at facing. So you have to change that. But um, you know, for me, it's about being able to do both. So if you can, you know, you can flight the ball up and bring it down. If you can drift the ball in the air a bit, um, but at the same time have the ability to you know sort of um, drag your length back if you have to in in shorter format games. Um, you know, in assessing the conditions, there are some. It's sometimes great to watch the ball spin a long way. Um, if you bowl slower, but on a really slow pitch, um, yeah, it may actually be more beneficial to you to bowl slightly quicker and get less spin from the, the wicket, but more chance of getting an edge. I would say field, I think, you know, regardless of where the field is, are, and it, you know, I mean, we talk for hours and hours about what the best fields are and where the fielders should be. But if you're, if you're comfortable with your field, I think that's a big thing for me. So if I'm, I'm comfortable that I have enough protection. I understand um, if I bowl a bad ball, where's it going to get hit? And I've got that covered. Um, if this batsman plays a really good shot, where's it likely to be? And I've got that covered. You know, if I'm comfortable with that, I think that gives you a lot of, a lot of confidence um, in your bowling. If you're at the top of your mark and you're not so sure, you're thinking, oh, I, you know, 
I, I don't um, have much protection on the leg side. I really can't bowl short here or, you know, I'd, I'd like another man out on the offside or, so, you know, it, it, it can't help. So I think as long as you're comfortable, um, you know, and then it, it's about, for me, um, learning in four-day cricket, learning to bowl with people around the bat um, is a real skill, actually, in having um, the ability to bowl with, with fielders around the bat, close fielders, um, is a big skill. But again, you don't have to be comfortable with it. So, um, you know, if, if, uh, if having a short leg is going to take away from your bowling, um, then it's no, no use having them there. They, you know, you need to be comfortable. So um, if you feel covered, uh, and you feel you know almost sort of protected, um, then I think that that will help your your bowling. And regardless where the fielders are, they can change. You can move more time, um, but being being comfortable with what you've got is a big thing. Yeah, I think the, your mindset is always your mindset's got to be you're not, you know we're not afraid of going for for runs for leg spin. I'm talking about now, so we're not afraid of going for runs because it's going to happen. You know, no one's. Um, no one's ever not been hit for six. It happens all the time. You have to, you have to get used to it. You have to be, um, you have to be all, all right with going for runs. It's going to happen. But at the same time, you will um, you have to keep telling yourself you'll take wickets. And even if it's not happening, um, you know, having the approach that it will. If I keep bowling well, if I keep putting the ball in the right area, eventually it will change. Um, may not be today, but you know, there will be a day where it just it just clicks and it will happen for me. Um, and that all ties into everything, you know, your mindset um, will change day to day, game to game. Of course it will, um, depending on what's being asked of you. But, you know, if you're comfortable with your field, if you're comfortable with your preparation, that can only help your mindset and it only help you be positive. So then if things aren't going well, you know, you've got that to fall back on. You've got, well, actually, you know, I am doing the right things. It's just not happening for me. Hang in there. Keep doing, you know, keep bowling good balls and asking good questions. Um, I think that's all you can really do, um, to be honest. If you bowl well, uh, once the ball's left your hand, it's out of your control what happens next. Um, you know, all you can do is just keep bowling good balls, asking questions. And, you know, if you've got the right fielders in place, you know, got a good plan to certain batsmen, it, it will it will hopefully go your way. <laughs>